Mickey and some breakfast. Testing journal alarm, light boy release alert. It takes 240 people all working together to keep a warship at peak efficiency. But when they're at sea, every sailor leaves their friends and family behind for months at a time. Janice Locum thinks a lot about her 14 and 6-year-old daughters. I was just away for Mother's Day. That, that kind of hurt a little. Birthdays, Christmas, my husband was just gone at Christmas time, so. She's a bosun, heaving lines, launching boats, and dealing with the ship's massive anchor. Her husband understands he's also in the Navy. He was on this ship earlier this year. Now he's on shore while she's at sea. Parenting alone all the time might seem tough, but she makes it work. That's what I like about the military. You have that camaraderie ship, whether at sea or at home. So my friends at home that I sail with or in the military, they're like your brothers, sisters. So you always have that help with you. So this is my mess. I live here with uh, 12 other guys. I should say like 12 of my best friends, just because we're stuck here all the time. That camaraderie comes from some close quarters. This warship wasn't built for comfort and personal space is at a premium. Dylan French doesn't mind. When he graduated from high school in Gander four years ago, he didn't want the student debt that came with college or university. The people he works with are the same ones he eats with and relaxes with. The only place on board that's truly yours is your bunk and it's not much. Yeah, so I usually get in like this, pop a little squat, roll on in. It's not as a uh, closed in or as uncomfortable as some people think. It's actually pretty good. I put my phone right here, some Velcro and watch a movie, hang out, kind of get some alone time. Yeah. How important is it to have some time away from the people you spend all day working with? If you can isolate yourself for a little bit, you kind of gather your thoughts. I think about like uh, my dog and my girlfriend in here and then I'll go to bed and wake up and just pretty much do the same thing again every day, you know? He spent eight of the last 12 months at sea, but you won't hear him complain. Growing up in Newfoundland, you don't get to do a lot of travel. You're uh, isolated on an island. Flights are expensive. So uh, joining the Navy, I've been all over the globe in the past four years. It's been pretty crazy. And, uh, Relaxing on board means a friendly game of poker or watching a movie in your downtime. One thing everyone looks forward to is food, and that's Lisa Jean Roberts' job. She lived in Newfoundland for 16 years. She served up meals on army bases, navy ships, and even submarines. A homemade cookie can make or break somebody's day. That's how big it is. Um, you have nowhere to go on here. You have a canteen which sells you some chips and pop, but I mean, you can't live off of that all the time. So sometimes just having a plate of macaroni and cheese or a nice home-cooked steak or a home-cooked uh, roast turkey dinner can uh, lift somebody up and get them out of a funk. While Roberts keeps the sailors fueled up, keeping the ship running is on Jonathan Baldwin's shoulders. He always knew he wanted to be in the Navy. He joined through the officer training program, getting his education at Memorial University. Now he's training to lead the engineering department. I find people are usually quite surprised by the amount of responsibility that is given to a junior officer. Uh, you're, all of a sudden, at you know early 20s, you're responsible for a department of up to 60 people, um, and you have men, women, and uh, people coming to you with very different issues and you're expected to uh, help guide them through that process. Today he's down in the engine room overseeing work on one of the ship's big turbine engines. It's similar to a 747. It's complicated work. Today they have to clean it. He's sold on the Navy as a long-term career, but others on board are already thinking about what they'll do next. Hopefully become an occupational therapist outside. Okay. Yeah. So I'm so starting all new. <laughs> The Navy life is great. I've seen places I never thought I'd go to. I've been to places I didn't know existed. But uh, I think when it comes time for me to settle down and have a family, I'll probably pick another career path. Uh, what that might be, it's going to take a bit of time to decide.